So let's talk about Zen Server, PV drivers, and some issues that some people have had around this topic. So what is a PV driver? So pair virtualization via QEMU, via Zen Server, and if you don't have drivers loaded, it's terribly slow. And the reason I'm bringing this up because I've had people complain about performance issues and problems they had in running Windows virtual machines and citing this is why they should just be on VMware because VMware is supported. It is supported in Zen Server as well. And I bring this up because, well, this is the basis by which you need to load the drivers and there's an easy way to do it with uh, the XCPNG server and if you have the paid license that you can do it with Citrix as well. Now the drivers from XCPNG are in beta but you don't have to use the drivers from XCPNG in your windows because it's still Zen server at the base. These Citrix drivers work very well. So I'll leave links to all these articles here. In short, what we're going to talk about is you just turn on this Windows update tool inside of Zen Orchestra. And then the signed Windows drivers that Citrix has signed will automatically load. It'll load if you're running this on Citrix Zen Server. It'll load if you're running this on XCPNG. It, the only difference is if you have Citrix, it only loads if you have the licensed version of Citrix server. With XCPNG, it loads without any extra licenses because it's all open source. Now the driver itself is not open source, that's from Citrix. This is a driver that goes in Windows, but if you're worried about open source, why are you are running Windows? So don't rant about that. So in short, we're going to show you how to do this real quick. So I have my Windows Server 2016 um, eval we have loaded, and you have to turn this on while the VM is off. So you turn on the Windows Update tool. It's a little tick slider here. And if you want to know how to do it from the command line inside of your Zen server, uh, this is actually a walkthrough from Citrix. There is a variable you can set that says XV VM param set UUID, and you can set it manually. Um, and I bring this up because there's not a way to do it with the XCP ng the zen center software the windows tool there's not a way to turn it on in there it's not a revealed feature i don't or at least i didn't see it but you can do it from the command line and if you're like me and you run zen orchestra you just check this box here what does it look like and how does it actually work well this is what it looks like when you have it installed so it automatically from windows updates goes in and puts in the zen pv host and I believe under disk drive, Zen PV disk, and you get all the normal, you know, performance you expect of having drivers properly loaded, and it works quite well. Uh, the performance and speed have been really happy out of this. But what about loading the Citrix agent? Well, I chose this VM. This is a Windows 10 VM, and I loaded the Citrix agent which is working fine in my XCPNG server. So this one actually doesn't just have that box ticked. It also, I loaded the guest agent. That way I have the full features of the guest agent, which is the talking back and forth with the server. So it works. It allows me to do things like uh, send a soft shutdown. So actually, let me pull up this particular VM. Go ahead and just close these windows. So I'll move these things off to the side so you can see them both at once. And this is Screen Connect. This is our remote utility for how we're managing it, but I could just have easily been RDP'd in. So here's that Windows 10 with the Citrus agent loaded, and we're just going to head and hit uh, stop. And by the way, it's reporting everything, memory, network activity, so it's doing the proper communication. So we're going to head and send a stop. And hey, look, it shut down. And we'll look at the console itself. It goes through the shutdown process like it's supposed to. It's actually really fast, so it's already done it. So yeah, that's... That's it. It's that simple. So that's with the Citrix. Now, what about if you don't feel like loading the Citrix agent? Well, this is a Windows Server 2016 right here, and this is the other VM I had pulled up was this one. And like I said, both of them have the Windows Update turned on, but this one, I didn't load any other tools. I only let the Windows Update do it. So from the load of the server directly, I had turned this on. So we turned this on when we built this template, and then we loaded the disk the ISO for Windows Server 2016, and then we loaded it. So right from the bat, it is installed. I go over here, pull up the device manager. There's the Zen PV disk driver, Zen storage controller, and of course I didn't show another one, but that shows the Zen PV network device. But let's pull up services. you'll notice in here there is no Citrix services running at all because it does not load those Citrix services. I've only got the PV drivers loading this and that's enough for 
uh, how I want to use the system. Generally speaking, we don't load anything extra. And the nice thing is because the drivers are signed, Windows loads them. There's not anything special you have to do to get the PV drivers loaded in here. Uh, the performance is good. So if you don't want to use the beta drivers that are here, which I'll leave a link to, there are beta drivers available for the XCP NG client tools. You can just load it via the Windows update. I will also leave a link to this if you want to get the Citrix Zen server without having to download Citrix and get their CD and they've got it all behind a, um, not a paywall, but a uh, you have to lo log in and subscribe. Uh, they have this document here and it says uh, PV updates VMD Citrix latest TSV. This file will always have the latest version of it and you actually just uh, you get the file, it's weird, you get the file, look inside of it, and it has a link in there to where the Citrix download is, and it has a version number after it, so you'd have to double check and look. But you can, if you want the Citrix agent, you could find it by doing this here if you have a need for the uh, actual agent part of it itself, and then you can get that file. So that's about it. Uh, pretty straightforward to get these installed. There's really not much else to it. Just turn on the Windows Update, and it will get the latest uh, drivers signed and installed inside of Windows and they work so if you don't even need the agent and i believe you still don't need the agent for the shutdown to work so if i send a shutdown oh look the server realizes it's shutting down so once again no citrix agent or anything installed so it works fine uh this seemed like i said to be a point of confusion of people waiting before they jumped on it before these betas were before these drivers were on beta just turn on windows update and zen orchestra and have fun using it all right thanks Thanks for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and click the thumbs up. Leave us some feedback below to let us know any details, what you like and didn't like as well, because we love hearing the feedback. Or if you just want to say thanks, leave a comment. If you want to be notified of new videos as they come out, go ahead and hit the subscribe and the bell icon. That lets YouTube know that you're interested in notifications. Hopefully they send them, <laughs> as we've learned with YouTube. Anyways, if you want to contract us for consulting services, you go ahead and hit lawrencesystems.com and you can reach out to us for all the projects that we can do and help you. We work with a lot of uh, small businesses, IT companies, even some large companies, and you can farm different work out to us or just hire us as a consultant to help design your network. Also, if you want to help the channel in other ways, we have a Patreon. We have affiliate links. You'll find them in the description. You'll also find recommendations to other affiliate links and things you can sign up for on lawrencesystems.com. Once again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.